everyone, it's Michelle here. Just want to show you my latest flowish junk journal. It's still based on an Alice theme. We've got Alice through the looking glass as the main image on here, and a few bits and pieces left over from my Somerset studio that I cut up. I've got a nice section of eyelash trim that I've got wrapped around this envelope, which I've just covered with a magazine page which I just used a plastic stencil to achieve this particular style front and on the back here. I then, after using the stencil, putting a bit of gesso on, I just done a nice colour wash over the top. But it is still so I've got some writing there, just a old magazine page. So let's go inside. Let's pop this down. So I've got this to wrap around a few times. I'm calling it a mini because it's not got so many pages inside. It's going to the States. It's off to Angela. So hopefully she will enjoy what I've done. I've done a bit of collaging over the front. And I've carried on more collage pockets here. Just bits and pieces from the Somerset Studios with Alice. So I've taken some of the pages and just fussy cut round. We've got this lovely piece of calligraphy here. I've also enclosed a postcard which I brought whilst in Oxford. So a nice Alice theme going on there. Collaged again with some of the images from Somerset Studios. And we've got a magazine page here all about Alice. We've got an actual card that can be pulled out with the Mad Hatter's Tea Party. We've got a little flyer from the coffee shop that I stopped in. We have a nice napkin that I hope she can use later on. Some home now to a my local, we have a local theatre. They done, last year was the Queen's 90th, so I've enclosed just a flyer there for her birthday picnic. We have here, just on this little paper clip, another little Alice collage which has come out of the magazine. We have a flyer here from the Oxford Music Theatre. We have a little bit of stamping, a little bit of my rubbish, my piece of junk here that would be thrown in the bin from my printer cartridge. Another image cut out with an Alice theme and put on a paper clip here. We all, well I like handbags, so I've just got these little sections of a handbag here. Here is one of my trashy envelopes that I've just turned inside out. And by doing so you've got this um, nice pattern which I've collaged over the top. <coughs> Excuse me. Using a tea bag sachet, I've got <coughs> some die cuts that I've cut round here. Yet again, just bits and pieces of scrap paper, flyers, just making the most of it. I'm not going to tuck that in right now. We have a postcard. I do like visiting fashion houses. So this postcard has been with me for a while, but it would have been collected from the University of East London. So... Just little bits and pieces that can be picked up and obtained for free. We've got this lovely image from here. This came from Daphne's diary. The intention is that hopefully Angela will cut this out and use it again. An old magazine of black and white pictures from the Victorian era with a little card from Oxford. A craft magazine. I've done some mixed media. I've just stenciled over the top with a gesso, and this is just a lovely pottery vase. Yet again, Angela can do with it as she wishes. We've got a Alice themed napkin here, and this is from Alice in Winterland. So she's holding some holly here, so and some berries. I know that we are coming in to the summer season, but I still think it's pretty appropriate to keep hold of these Alice theme items. Now this is the centre 
I haven't yet wrapped. I'm going to put some eyelash trim down the centre and that will hold this little signature together. Inside here we've just got some tags, which I'm doing a great disservice by not being able to pull them out, which is most annoying. So this is just from packaging that I received over Christmas, or just some scraps. Yet again, flyers, and we've got like a gift aid sticker and a price. Because it's going to the States, I'm sure just having the fact of a little pound note may be a little bit inspiring to Angela. Yet again, just bits and pieces that can be used in her journals at a later date. Obviously it's going to be a little bit repetitive. I just recently found in a charity shop these wonderful, to me, I think they are supposedly for your fish and chips, so your chips go inside here, but I just like the black and white and quirkiness and that, that could also be helpful for Angela at a later date. This is the other side of the black and white envelope and in here I've just got some old printables. I'm not currently going to be using them very soon so I thought let's gift them on. Hopefully Angela can do something with these. And also when I put these two envelopes together, another reason why we haven't got, I haven't done the signature together, these envelopes can be pulled apart. I thought by actually just putting one inside the other makes it practical for the recipient to use them again. So I'm going to put that in there like so. Another image from Daphne's diary which can be cut out and used. I've also put in a tarot card. So just a random collection here just pulled out and tucked in. Another image from Daphne's diary, the back side of the other handbag book, a little bit of the recycled, that's from my printer cartridge, here is just a bit of stamping that I've done, yet again the other side of the flyer from Oxford and from the local Phoenix, this is the theatre that I live next door to, the napkin, the back side of explaining where you can go for coffee in Oxford, the actual card from the British Library, the Alice page and then in the back we've just got another one of the calligraphy bits and pieces from the pigs from Alice in the Looking Glass. I've enclosed a cocktail coaster here from the cocktail shop in London. Another one of my printables, so this can be used as a bookmark. And I thought she might find it interesting to have a look through the official Oxford walking tours. There's quite a bit going on inside the pamphlet, showing you some nice detailed pictures. Now in the back, I've actually turned this into a pocket. Done a little bit more collaging from an Alice Through the Looking Glass book that I've got and inside I've enclosed some of my mixed media little postcards that I've been making and hopefully Angela will enjoy those. And on the back here you can just do a little bit of reading about Alice and some of Lewis Carroll's history and the artist. Well thank you ever so much for taking the time to watch this and hopefully Angela will enjoy once she receives this in the post. Take care guys, bye bye.